All right, this right here is a chain rule. I first want to rewrite it as eight. Leave that on the outside. Just leave it away. We're actually going to ignore that for a while. Cotangent seven x to the fourth minus three. All that to the fifth. That is the first thing you probably want to do is rewrite it so it looks like a something that you'd be chaining. Now again, leave the eight out of it the picture. Actually, do we have to leave the eight out of the picture? It's not that bad. Can I just multiply the five times eight? Yeah. It's actually not that bad. So five times eight is forty. Leave the inside. Subtract one from five, you get four. Okay, what's going to go on the inside here? That. You drive the outside, you just leave the inside. So rewrite cotangent 7x to the fourth minus 3. Okay, we are not done. We just derived the outside. Now look at what's left u y's in the middle. I now have to derive that internal piece that's left. So, to derive this, let's derive that, let's call it u. Do you understand you're going to multiply, whatever u prime is, you're going to put way over here. Right here is going to be u prime. The inside's u, let's derive it, and it's going to go right there. So, to find u prime, oops, I need parentheses. What will u prime be? Well, u prime, you derive the outside. Do you understand this is a chain rule too? When deriving u, the answer is going to go here. The outside of cotangent, cotangent, do we have cotangent right here? No. Cotangent is negative cosecant. Leave the inside. Correct? Squared. Thank you. Cosecant squared. Leave the inside. But to derive this one, don't you also have now have to derive the inside? The inside is what? What's the derivative of this inside right here? 28x, and then negative 3 doesn't derive. So again, x to the third. thank you, x to the third, awesome. <laughs> x to the third. So, cotangent is negative cosecant squared, and then we drive the inside, tack it on. Now, do you see that this whole thing is just simply going to go whoop, right there? We're simply plugging it right in. So, can you see how this is u, derivative of the u, and this is u prime? You derive the big piece here, you drive the inside, that goes here. It might help to do this little step of a u and derive it separately. I hope not in the long run, but for now you might need to do that. Simplifying all of this, it looks like we have 40 times a negative times a 28. Ooh, that's just not that bad. Um, is it 1120? Yeah. Like that? I'll trust you on that. I'm not going to miss that right now. And then um, the x to the third is going to jump out front. Is that okay? Leaving you cotangent 7x to the fourth minus 3. Oh, this is a fourth power. So can I bring the fourth, put it right there. And then here we have cosecant 7 to the x, 7x to the fourth minus 3. And then that one's squared. Does that look all done? Yeah, I, you don't have to worry about trying to mix these. Okay. Um, 
We could, let me just think for a second. There, there could be, this is good enough, I believe. Cotangent, let's just think about this for a second. Isn't cotangent cosine over sine? It isn't secant one over sine? Could I make it in cosines and sines? But do you see anything canceling? No. So it's not really necessary to change. This is good enough. 